guys, it's Rindy, and I am here today to pick a new palette. Yeah, she's taking a palette and using it to shake things. Anyways, with my lovely assistant here who wants to pick the new paper out of the little box. So she is going to do that so she can get back to her YouTube video. Hold it up so she they can see you pick. So she's going to do that so she can get back to her YouTube video. Then we will discuss the Perception palette I've been using and find the palette that I'm going to be using for the next two weeks and see how we do. What's, what, what one are we going to pick? I don't know. Pick well, one. Pick one. one she just dropped one on the floor. That's the winner. <coughs> what do we got? We get... The Kat Von D Shade and Light Eyes. She just stole my coffee. Did you see that? She stole. Mine now. She stole my coffee. Guys, she stole my coffee. Anyhow, this <laughs> she just choked on the coffee from me <laughs> saying that. <laughs> Thank you, kiddo. All right. So, anyways, let me find that palette quickly. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be an interesting video. All right, so let's talk about perception here. I still enjoy this palette. I still love the color story of this palette every time I look at it. Um, I'm wearing the purple from it today along with the blue from something else I'm panning. But this has been super easy on days where I'm, like, hurrying to use, like, these four matte-ish shades and just make kind of a warm look and then slap one of these shimmers, any one of them, on my lid and run out the door. It's been real nice for that. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I guess I always talk like this, right? But I've loved all the colors and stuff. I am a colorful person. Um, these few over here have been a good inner corner highlight. So overall, I have loved using this palette for the last couple weeks, and I am still glad that I bought it from just seeing these colors on online. There's not many palettes that have influenced me without huge reviews and research. And this was one of them that I literally had to buy just because I saw the colors and fell in love with it. So that one is still awesome, still loving it, still glad I own it. Now Kat Von D Shade and Light. We all know there is controversy with Kat Von D. This is just the plainest of plain palettes you can possibly get. And so I purchased this one a few years back. Still smells okay. So a few years back to fill in the neutrals gap that I had that I had in my collection. I have a lot of color because I used to love color a lot, but I needed the the more like the matte, plain, brown shades. That perfectly what I needed this palette for. So I I filled in my collection after getting recommendations from the What's Up and Makeup Facebook group and went with this one. So it is what it is. I spent the money for it. Kat Von D had my money and controversy aside, I own it and I'm going to use it for the next couple weeks. So we'll see how it performs. I know it used to be one of the most awesome, what's up with my strings here? one of the most awesome palettes you could get for neutrals, that kind of thing. I'm not sure that's such the case anymore because there's a lot of palettes out now that are neutrals and really good. But this is the one I own. So Kat Von D Shade and Light Eyes it is. That's what I will use for the next couple weeks. Check out my Instagram, rindy.slater, if you want to see some of the looks. I don't think I actually took pictures with this one because it's been a crazy busy couple weeks. That's why I said I love those mats to just like do fast eyes and run. So anyhow, but check out my Instagram and I will try and remember to post looks that I've done using the palettes. If I do find any on my phone, I will throw them up there. And that's it. So I hope you'll stick around and see how I like this palette, see what I'm going through, see what else I have up here in my collection. Check out my panning projects with the Fantastic Ladies. Until the next time, have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.